I found out that I was a medium through going to a spiritual healer. I was constantly having anxiety. I would be just driving in the car and we'd just be driving and we'd stop at a light and I would say to my husband, oh my God, I don't feel good. I gotta get out of the car. Larry, Larry, Larry. Don't tell me. And, and I would be like, what the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> like, I still can't believe I'm married. So as I give my speech to you, that is my sign to spirit that I'm ready to work. I went for five years back and forth from the spiritual classes and for going for the healings because it took me a long time to accept what it was because I was like, well, what do you mean I can speak to dead people? I think I just said to you one day that it was spirit trying to communicate with me and he was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah okay. Now I know she's definitely crazy. I was stuck with you. Yeah. At the time, I really didn't know what was happening when my mom first found out that she had this gift because I was only about nine years old. Nine? You were nine. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, I was. Eight years she's been doing this. No, she hasn't. All right, whatever. You could say your opinion. When my mom got her gift, I kind of understood what was going on, but I didn't really talk about it much because I didn't think it was a big deal. I thought, you know, I guess some people just do this. Your husband wants to talk about his car. Before Teresa became a psychic... Don't call me a psychic. OK, I'm sorry. Before Teresa became a medium, I was as much a skeptic as anybody could be. And this goes back to when we were dating. Perfect example is I'd be sleeping, and all of a sudden she'd be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, what the hell? What's the matter with you? And she's like, did you see that guy? Or, or, or talking in his sleep? And I'd be like, holy crap, my, you know, this girl's crazy.